both of us actually spent a lot of time this offseason throwing a lot of shade towards one David Johnson. Oh god. Because of the fact <laughs> because of the fact that we weren't sure if he was gonna be this workhorse back. Yeah. Well, he was probably the most workhorsey of the workhorse yeah. backs in week one. I mean, Chris Johnson had one carry, I believe. Yeah, he or did. He had one carry, yeah. And I think Andre Ellington carry. had a couple targets, but yeah, it was it was all it David was Johnson. 95% yeah. of the snaps went to David Johnson, and he looked good. I mean, a lot of people were saying that this is probably, outside of Seattle, the New England is probably the best defense he's going to face. Yeah, And probably. he still put up RB1 numbers. He looked good. I mean, his jump cuts are ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, he's just bouncing all over the place. He's like a gazelle out there. He had that one run that was similar to his run against Philadelphia last year where he was just spinning, and then all of a sudden <laughs> nobody could tackle him, and he was up the sideline. And I was yeah. like, what? How did that even happen? I mean, it wasn't quite as good as Jalen Richard's run, but it was up there. Jalen Richard just like untouched, squirt through the hole and sprint 75 yards downfield. I mean, he was touched. <laughs> he just wasn't. It was <laughs> New Orleans wasn't very effective at sure. tackling him. Uh, I, th- I think with the Richard run, what you have to look at is if you watch the tape, God. there, there's, there's a lineman coming in, and Richard basically just jukes him out of his shoes. He makes a quick cut and then hits the hole, bounces off like three guys. I think at one point he was turned sideways because he had been hit, but he wasn't tackled. And then as soon as he hit the open field, it was just, boo, star power, baby. Look, man, this is a David Johnson segment, not a Jalen Richard segment. So, like, don't derail but basically, it. Basically, <laughs> I'm derailing it by saying Jalen Richard is better than David Johnson. <laughs> Whoa, Bam. hot take. There hot it is. Take. Boom. Boom. Ooh. Trade David Johnson for Jalen Richard, who you don't even have to trade for. He's on the wire. Drop David Johnson for Jalen Richard. Bench dash take. Boom. Uh, um, back to David Johnson for just to close it out. I, I mean, if this is what he is, then yeah, he, he was worth that first round draft pick. If he yeah. is seeing 95% of the snaps and he's getting all the red zone looks, he's being involved in the passing game, then he is probably a top three fantasy running back. Yeah. And no, we would be wrong on our tape. Yeah, this is one where I'm like, I'm happy to admit that we were very, very wrong. I was very in on like David Johnson's overrated. He could, he could totally bust. It was never about his talent being overrated. It was just like, there were so many assumptions about the situation and his workload and like the competency of the Cardinals. Would it carry over? And we haven't even seen if it has, they did not look good in week one. It hasn't carried over. So that part was, they didn't. was correct. But what, you know, we were wrong about is that he, the workload, he, he is the guy. And with the volume he's getting, he's, you know, add that in with the fact that he is really talented and he's just, He's elite. He's he is one of the the running backs that he's not going to be for sale. But if you if you drafted him, then like you're you're in good shape. You're, uh, yeah, you're fine. You're yeah. looking good. And and don't let anyone try to bully you off of David Johnson. Just hold him because right now after week one, he's he he's looking like he could be. Uh, we haven't seen Lev Bell yet. Uh, he he could. I'll say he's a top three running back right now. He oh, yeah. could be number one overall. We don't know. It depends on how the rest of the season goes. Mm-hmm.